Stadium at Wembley. All the class winners behind your heads when the entire circumference. The back of the first two private hospitality boxes, about 100. And uh, 50 of these around the stadium, smaller five-seater boxes would set you back just 20 to 30 thousand pounds. You know what? Insult you, son. Off you something so cheap. You look like a high roller. You might like one of our big 16-seater Centennial Club ones. One could be yours for nearer 200 thousand pounds. Here, it's tempting, isn't it? Why not treat yourself and 50 of your friends? Watch all the games next season. Come, but you also get a free meal before each and every game. Free being the operative word. Now moving further around guys, the first big bay window jutting out in the corner, the metal shutters down in front of us, and it's not a hospitality box, that is our own MUTV studio, Manchester United Television. Anyone on this tour watching MUTV? No, just me. Okay. <laughs> Broadcast in there, we also have the sister studio at the Caddington Training Complex in seven miles away to allow better access to the players. Players spend far more time at the training ground than they do at the stadium. Only really here on a home match day for a few hours before till maybe an hour or so after the game. Now the next one's further along with the Red Still Street in the corner. The main stadium control room. That is where you find the police on a match day, keeping an eye on all the away supporters. The rest of the time it's just our own security staff in there. They're there seven days a week, 24 hours a day, controlling over 120 globally ahead and face from over sat in that seat. Now directly opposite us, folks behind me and facing on the south stone look like great, it's actually grey tables. Grey tables in the press box, tables with their laptop computers. The press will sit in there typing away and emailing their match reports to newspaper desks all over the world, real time, the game. Hey, the dark red seats right in the centre of the south, the opposite best seats in the house. Very funny, very comfortable. Very in there. Bringing £200,000 here would not buy a seat in the director's box. Those seats are priceless because we don't sell them. It's by invitation only. It's where you'd find the owners when they're here from America, the Glazer family, Places. visiting the VIPs. Like the England manager Roy Hodge will be a regular feature next season, obviously watching United players out of England's forthcoming fixtures. ขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบ
Can we rename the largest stand instead? After when we started our tour there, we were at the sat only at the bottom of the first tier. It's a three-tiered stand, seating nearly 25,500 people just on that one side of the stadium alone. <coughs> Some entire stadiums in the English Premier League don't see that much in their entirety, such as the nearby Wigan Athletic DW Stadium, one of 25,000 in total there. So if you're not scared of heights, why not try watching over the back of our Sir Alex stand? Uh, a lot of stairs to climb, but you do get great views of Manchester and the surrounding areas. <laughs> well, this space now has been given over for the UEFA Champions League. Office United has been part of the Champions League ever since the early days. Each and every Champions League gave a massive event. All the extra European sponsors, photographers, journalists, and event organisers were coordinated out of here. Uh, sadly, last season, Manchester United didn't have much call for this office. Hopefully, next season, we'll far better running the Champions League. We're going to make our way now, folks, back out into the fresh air. Please stay close together. Follow me. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Happy. Thank you. 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 ที่เครื่องบินตกพาไปดูนาฬิกาเนี่ยเลยด้านนี้อ๋อด้านเนี้ย Some 54 years ago now, Manchester United after playing one of the early European games, it's a side called Red Star Belgrade. On the way back, the plane was stopped in Munich, Germany, taking some extra fuel. An awful lot of snow and ice on the plane and on the runway that fateful February day. The plane attempted to take off three times. On the third attempt, it failed, crashed into a series of buildings at the end of the runway with a loss of over half the people on board, including many great Manchester United players and staff, all the names of whom are listed on the original moon plaque there hung from the wall of the stadium. And the photograph taken beneath that plaque, the last team photograph taken the day before the tragedy on the 5th of her 58 on the pitch at Down Grey, Sammy, the last time those players ever line up together again for the photograph of the draft. Flowers out the side of the plant there, fresh flowers changed on a weekly basis, just to serve as a non moon fitting tribute to any of the players, families and descendants who may wish to come here and pay their respects. And above you had some from the corner of the St. Louis Regional Munich clock, as shown the date of the tragedy, the current time now, and the venue Munich, Germany. Actual time of the tragedy, four minutes past three in the afternoon. Also in this part of the stadium, guys, when you finish your tour, you have a surprise to find you finish your tour in the mega store, a great shopping opportunity. You come out of our mega store to the front of the stadium, one of the last additions there is the Trinity statue, that is George Best, Dennis Lawrence and Bobby Charlton, three of United's greatest ever players, cast in nine foot high solid bronze on a granite base. That statue was unveiled here at Old Trafford on the 29th of May 2008, just over four years ago, on the 40th anniversary of Manchester United. First English team to win the European Cup. Now, of course, Mills, the UA Champions League, by beating Benfica 1 4 1 at the old Wembley Stadium, between 20 and 18 We'll be telling you for a second, 23 of our greatest ever players. We make our way now, guys, underneath the South Stand, and look very beef at the exhibition. Welcome to Mark the 50th anniversary of the uh, Munich Air Tragedy. Opened uh, some uh, four years and five months ago. Please stay close together. Follow me. เรื่องนี้ผมเยอะปกติแล้วผมสมุทรสอนแล้วเนาะ Okay, we're now underneath the south stand on the 6th of February 2008. So over four years and five months on the 50th anniversary of the Fort Manchester Munich plane tragedy. Renamed this entire area the Munich Tunnel. We'll unveil this current exhibition. Unveiled by the chief executive David Gill. And this gentleman, the late Roger Bird Jr., son of the former club captain, also called Roger Bird, who sadly lost his life in the tragedy. The eternal flame lit beneath never goes out to honour and remember all those United players and staff. And all the displays down this Munich tunnel concern different aspects of that era in the club's history. You guys are more than welcome to come back here after your tour, spend more time taking photographs, reading all these individual displays. It is a free access area down here. You don't even require your tickets to come back here. 
where we're going to go to next we're going to make our way back inside to the true inner sanctum to the dressing room complex see where the players are changed and prepared for the big games sadly no players in service you're looking ready next we'll call guys when you're ready please follow me dressing room area coming up I think it's a dressing room area or it's a dressing room area or it's a dressing room area ไงมีคากาวะด้วยนะเบอร์ยี่หกนี่ไงเนี่ยคากาวะมาแล้วมีเสื้อหล่ออ่ะเดสันนั่งนี้แล้วกันนะเดี๋ยวเจ้าดูดิเบอร์ใหม่อ่ะพาลาเขารับผิดชอบอ๋อนี่ไอ้เสื้อผ้าขาวว้าเดี๋ยวเอาไปเล่นหมักลุกได้เวลาว่างๆใช่มีเสื้
Well, so now, okay, so for the successful team there. Congratulations. Okay. Philadelphia Union. Okay, so now I'll take your local team. How many guys? Okay. Okay. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> Now is your buddy United shirt, do you want to be United team captain? Come to the front sure. on this side. <laughs> I'm going to play some atmosphere music which we're to make our way to the end of the tunnel. We're going to turn right, we're down the track side to the halfway line. This is in both the home and the away team dugouts. Have your photographs taken where the manager and the subject. But I must remind you guys, we're not allowed to touch the gas, pull on the gas or take any gas. We do need the pitch in tip-top condition for the Olympic football games. Starting place in just a week's time. So please only admire or take photographs of the pitch. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. ไม่สวยเลยเนาะนี่ไฟนี่พอดีเขาได้ให้ไฟเพราะว่าจะได้ให้มันโตขึ้นอ่ะเออให้มันโตแล้วก็ขับตรงนี้มันยังไม่โต